So far, what's been going on is in Chef Nikki's kitchen, we see Spam frying, Dr. Pepper cooking and with vegetables in it, and bacon frying. Seems to be some difficulty in what she's going to do with her dishes. Um, she's also cracked some eggs and sliced some bread. Hmm, sounds like we're eating breakfast maybe, but we'll see. No telling what Chef Nikki's got going in her kitchen. Now let's go over to Joanne's kitchen and in Joanne's kitchen we see Dr. Pepper boiling. We also notice that there's Spam and couscous cooking with shrimp and vegetable kebabs. What a combination. Could be a very interesting, oh here we go, she's also measuring out half and half and milk to make a pudding. That could be really, really good or it could be a disaster like in one of the other chef's kitchens. Now let's hear from our judges. Interesting that they're both doing pudding. Because pudding was one of the ingredients that is very well, it's just, interesting. It's just a powder. It's just a powder. <laughs> <laughs> you can use pudding for other things. Seriously, they both use pudding? Keep digging, shells. Uh, I can't believe they both use spam. <laughs> Chef Joanne is already plating her pudding. We're still waiting to see what Chef Nikki's doing with hers, but so far, things are really starting to look delicious. Now, let's go to Chef Jenny, last year's winner, and see what she thinks of the competition. You know, I have to say that I believe that the secret ingredients today were more challenging than the ones in my competition, so I really have to give it to both of the competitors. Although I'm a little bit worried about Nikki, I think she might need to speed up just a little bit and in preparation, Joanne is well on her way. It will be very interesting to see the differences in their dishes from a more established cook to someone a little new wave. So I'm very excited to see what they come up with. Chef Nikki is also pouring half and half and adding some Dr. Pepper. Hmm. You know, she still seems a little bit confused, but I think she'll pull through. It's interesting that Chef Joanne's using Meyer products and Chef Nikki is using Giant Eagle products, so we're going to see the difference in the Meyer and Giant Eagle half and half. I gotta say, the points are probably leaning more towards Chef Joanne in that arena. Chef Nikki is now also getting ready to plate her pudding now. It's interesting that she uses the old-fashioned technique to make her pudding, whereas Joanne has the more modern convenience. <laughs> I think I like this ingredient that Chef Joanne's coming up with. I'm disappointed at her using uh, store-bought ice cream. I would like to see some fresh, homemade vanilla ice cream. I don't. Oh, did you see that? It's catching me right in the neck. Oh, Chef Nikki's having trouble with her bacon. Hmm, she's not using real butter. That may be one of the, and she's having a hard time getting it out. I don't know, perhaps it's that she's using old-fashioned techniques, something you don't usually see with a chef her age. But we'll see how that works out for her. Struggling, she is struggling. Well, usually when I think of an entree and a dessert, an appetizer, I think of dinner. It looks like we're having breakfast with Chef Nikki, but that's okay. Okay, we now have 10 minutes left of the competition. Chef Nikki's getting eggs, her eggs cooking. Let's see what she's going to do with this. Looks like it's going to be some type of a breakfast. Oh, there she goes. She's adding one of her mystery ingredients, the Spam, to it. Chef Nikki. Looks like she was very sparing with the Spam. That may hurt her a little bit with the Spam fans like myself. Meanwhile, back in Chef Joanne's kitchen, she's mixing cornstarch for the appetizer. Using it for some kind of thickening agent, we'll see what she's going to do with this. Chef Joanne has the appetizer and I'm not quite sure where she's going. With it. Yeah, but she still has a tub of ice cream too. Mm -hmm. She's making caramelized sauce to go on top of the shrimp.
Well, obviously, Chef Joanne came a little more prepared for presentation. I mean, she's got nice uh, silverware, utensils, plates. Chef Nikki, on the other hand, seems to be just hoping that the food will carry her through this, which it might. I see that Chef Nikki's using store bought pound cake, so. <gasps> Chef Nikki just stuck a finger in our dessert. <laughs> I see that. I hope Mike gets that one. I think Chef Joanne has a better better handle on her equipment. I see Chef Nikki over there with one beater in the mixer, and I'm not sure that she really has a good handle on her equipment, so I think Chef Joanne's definitely got a better handle on her kitchen. Let's see how the food tastes. You make Thank a good you. point, Judge Paul. Well, this is interesting. Chef Nikki was trying to whip her cream with just one of the beaters, but it looks like she's dropped the other one now. Seems like there's a little bit of problems here with coordination. She keeps trying. She's determined to make that whipped cream. We'll see how it turns out. Looks like Chef Nikki is having issues with some <laughs> whipping cream or half and half that's just not quite whipping, but I'm sure she'll beat it in this submission. Okay, we're down to the last five minutes remaining in the competition here. Chef Nikki's adding cream unwhipped to her desserts. She's trying to hide that under the orange zest. We'll see what happens with the judges on this one. There she goes with the orange zest, working furiously to try to cover up that mess of a whipped cream. Back in Joanne's kitchen, Chef Joanne's adding ice cream with chocolate sauce. Now she's using Ready Whip, which, you know, she doesn't have to worry about the mix up, the mess up with it, to make her pudding Sunday. We'll see how that turns out. Back in Chef Nikki's kitchen, she's putting Dr. Pepper, Pepper flavored vegetables on bread and adding cheese. Hmm, that could be interesting. Chef Nikki is pulling it together. I think she's going to have everything on the plate in front of us, picky judges, and with plenty of time to spare. We got one minute left in the competition. Chef Nikki's garnishing her spam and eggs dish with red pepper slices. Looks pretty. We'll see how it tastes. See what the judges think about this. Chef Joanne's plating her entree using cilantro to garnish. She's also had adding hot sauce to it. That can be a tricky thing. Some judges don't like hot sauce. We'll see how that works out for her. Chef Nikki's plating her last dish with only seconds to spare. Let's see what happens. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. The competition is over. Now it's up to our judges to determine who will be the winner of this year's Golden Chef.